Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron, and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch. The good old developers at 11th Hour Games have officially bestowed upon us more 0.8.4 goodies. And this is a new weapon rework. Now if you follow my channel at all, you might know that I have a series called Dev Chat that I post every single Saturday. And I am happy to announce that finally, I was right. Unlike the other images, I don't think this is a legendary item. I really hope it's legendary item art, but I don't think so. I think what they're going to be doing, just like they did with axes and swords and all the other weapons, I think when it comes to art, how we're going to get updated 3D renders and 2D art, I think staffs are coming next. So now that I'm done bragging about my prediction, let's check out the six new staves coming for 084 again on December 10th, starting with the temple staff. Take a look at this. How pretty the temple staff. Blow it up a little bit. Unlocks at level 70. You have a range of 90 to 100 adaptive spell damage. Increase mana regen up to 30% and negative three mana cost. Right off the bat, this is an amazing staff. It looks like it's going to be replacing the Oracle staff right now, which is the highest staff you can get unless you get a perfectly rolled sorcerer staff. Anyways, this is going to be amazing and a lot of people complain about mana. So this is going to give you an additional possible 30%. And you can actually see here, this is the 3D in-game render of the temple staff. Literally great for 90% of mana builds. Very cool. Moving on down, we have the dragon staff. You see it right here? The 2D, see the little dragon horns? And the dragon staff unlocks at level 85. You cannot use a dragon staff until level 85. Plus 95, that is locked. Melee physical damage. Adaptive spell you can get from 85 to 95. Plus one to elemental skills. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, they're getting that plus one to skills on weapons. It's pretty damn good. And the render in game looks good. Looks just like it does down there. All right, two down, four to go. Moving over to the bladed staff. Little double-edged blades there. That is the 2D. Let's see what the 3D looks like in-game. Look at that. Holding it. And as you would guess, of course, it's going to have melee physical on it. 94 locked melee physical damage. And on this one, you can get up to 104 adaptive spell. 84 to 104, so it's a big range. And on the bladed staff, go figure, plus one to all melee attacks pretty good this would be good what would be a good exam tempest strike they were fixed tempest strike maybe okay the bladed staff moving on down we have the spine rod and this is what i guessed but technically my guess was incorrect and by the way i'm allowed to give 11th hour games feedback i'm mad this is not a necro item. All right, I've said my piece. The spine rod, no, it is not for necros. And you can see the skull here and it's all made of bone, right? It's creepy, perfect for the necro. Here it is in game, skull looks good. The spine rod is a low level item. You can get it at level 38, plus 53 to melee physical damage. Up to 47 adaptive spell, and this is increased damage over time up to 93%. 93%. And by the way, I forgot to mention that the bladed staff unlocks at 74. 74. Moving on down, we have the horned staff. And just what you would think. You've got the skull here with the big old horns on it. Kind of looks like what? Made out of wood? Wood? Yeah, maybe wood. Horn staff unlocks at level 66. There's the horn in game. This is locked. Melee 
physical damage at 79. Adaptive spell rolls from 79 to 91. And on here, see this? The horned staff, you can get plus one to all minion skills. <sighs> they should have flipped it. The minion skill should be on the skull. And I wish there was something to minion damage. But we did they did give us a minion staff as well. But this I mean you're never gonna use this. I don't know, maybe you are. Necro's my favorite. I don't see myself using it. Because it only gives one dominion skills and it's gonna be two-handed, so you're gonna lose the catalyst and the and the scepter. Alright, moving on. Shamanic staff. And this is our last one. Here's what it looks like spinning around. What is that? One of those like dream catchers or something like is that what they're called? I don't know. That's what it reminds me of here. This is also low level. You can get it at 46 melee physical damage, 56 adaptive spell, 39 to 47. And on here, increased totem damage up to 86 percent totems for 084 are finally getting some love and on Mike's stream, I think it was last stream, he t people, someone asked him, what skills do you think needs work? And he listed off five or six skills. One of them is summon Storm Totem. I'm glad that he acknowledges that Storm Totem needs work. Really easy fix. You don't even have to change it. Just make it so we can have two. And that is it. Shamanic Staff, 46. The Horned Staff, 66. The Spine Rod, 38. The bladed bladed staff at level 74. The dragon staff at level 85. And the temple staff at level 70. Now, if you ask me, Aaron, which one do you like the best? To close out this video, I'm gonna go with the temple staff. It's just perfect for any spellcaster. You can get it close to 100. And you're going to get that mana regen and it's going to bring down all your skills negative three. So you can just continuously cast. It's a mega boosted Oracle staff. And I like it. Look how nice and ornate it looks like you pulled off a shower rod or something like that. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. So that's it. I want to know your opinion out of the six new staffs. Which one is your favorite? Are you mad like me? that the Skull Staff has nothing to do with Necro. Let me know in the comments section below. I'm sure you've heard by now that I have officially started a Twitch streaming on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Having so much fun with the ARPG community. First link in the description if you'd like to go there and support. Always a good time. We will be doing a Thanksgiving stream tomorrow. I'll be giving away a free copy of Last Epoch. Should be a really fun time if you are bored and want to swing by. Again, first link in the comment section below. If you haven't had a chance to join the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're now over 1,200 members. Great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is also in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this 084 staff update video. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out.